Welcome to the Accounting for Investment Banking course. In today's lesson, we will review the amortization expense. Amortization expense is allocation of the cost of acquired intangible asset over its projected life on the income statement. Therefore, amortization expense is a non-cash expense. Amortization is similar to depreciation expense, except it is related to the intangible assets. While depreciation expense is associated with physical assets, Note that when we are talking about amortization expense, we are referring to the expense related to the acquired intangible assets. Intangible assets developed internally are expensed as they are incurred. So, what items are classified as intangible assets? Well, these are patents, technology, licenses, customer lists, and trademarks. Amortization expense is calculated by taking the purchase price of the intangible asset and dividing it by its useful life. Acquired intangible assets appear in the balance sheet as a long-term asset. Let's take a look at the amortization expense accounting. First, we spent $100 at the beginning of year one on the acquisition of an intangible asset with a useful life of four years. This cash spent will appear on the cash flow statement, which we will learn about later on in the course. Next, at the end of year one, we record the amortization expense on the income statement, which is equal to 25% of the value of the asset, or $25. The accumulated amortization will also be 25 at the end of year one. So, at the end of year one, the value of an asset on the balance sheet will be the initial value of 100, less amortization expense of 25, which is 75. In year two, we follow the same calculations logic and the value of an asset at the end of year two will be 50. We continue with calculations in this way until the end of year four, when the asset is fully amortized and its value is zero. Let's now take a look at how amortization expense is reported in Amazon's 10K report. Typically, amortization expense appear in SG&A and is not reported separately on the income statement. However, amortization expense is reported on the cash flow statement, usually, together with depreciation expense. Under Intangible Assets Disclosure, Amazon reports the value of acquired intangible assets. We can see that the net value of acquired intangible assets is slightly over 4 billion, with the remaining useful life of 15.4 years. Furthermore, Amazon reports the expected amortization expense schedule for the next five years, which is required under US GAAP. Remember, we defined amortization expense as allocation of the cost of acquired intangible asset over its projected life on the income statement. We stress the word acquired here because intangible assets developed internally are fully expensed as they are incurred.